Hello everybody, welcome back to How to Heck Tutorial, a series that really shouldn't exist since I'm not very good at tutorials. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the uh, Sullivan and Marx style of uh, like like logos and, and stuff. Hold on, let me put an example on the screen. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, I just made this today. Uh, first, what you're going to do is you're going to like load an SVG of your logo in the blender. I don't feel like pulling out an SVG of a random logo, so I'm just going to like put some text in a in, in, in a font. So you get that in the position, and what you're going to do is you're going to make a copy of the text, and then you're going to turn the offset down as much as you can without like breaking it. And then you turn up the depth just enough, but you got to leave a little bit on the sides. Like you got to leave a little bit on the edge because you're going to need another layer to add like the outer like uh, bevel, I guess. And then you're gonna turn up the resolution. That'll be important later. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make uh, two materials. Uh, I'll call this one um, uh, back, and I'll call this one uh, front. And then you're gonna place in an empty. This is important. All right. So you go back to the top view. You get a texture, and then we're gonna do blend object empty. Let's go in the rendered view so we can see what our thing looks like. And then I'm gonna put it in the thing, and then we're gonna do like we're gonna do like the metallic 80s texture, but not like in the freaking vaporwave way. It's gonna be a one color one of these. So you just uh, I'll, I'll resize the empty so we can see the edge of like the yeah there we go. All right, and then you paste that. Do this, do, do this, do all this mess, and then there you go. All right, now you're gonna you now you're gonna take your uh, empty and you're gonna change the. Uh, X rotation so that you can start to see uh, little little curves on the uh, top layer here. That that's good. That's what, exactly what we wanted. If you're seeing like weird stuff, like look at the M over here, uh, then you can just move the empty down a bit, and then that should fix it. Move that until you're happy with it. I think that's pretty good. All right, and now for the back layer, uh, you're gonna get a cloud texture, and then you're gonna put. Put that on there, set, set up the global mapping, adjust that any way you want it until you're happy with it. That's pretty good. And just a reminder, if you set these to like multiply instead of just a, instead of just, you know, a, just, just having it mix, you can make these any color you want. So let's say I want to make these a yellow, then I'll just do this. And then kabam, you got yellow, yay! This is part one of this tutorial. Part two will be able to go over how they um, uh, do like the specular lighting on the. But anyways, what you're gonna do after that, uh, take a, take a picture of this from the top, and then you can like put this into any blender thing you want and use it. All right, there's your awesome Sullivan and Marks text. Congratulations, you did it, yay!